There are two good reasons why a professional would choose a more expensive brush over a cheap one. First of all, you'll notice length of bristles, then you'll also notice the volume of bristles. The professional choice has got a lot more bristles. Length of bristles gives you finish. It's nice and soft, it pulls out the paint. The volume of bristles determines how far you can paint. You can paint much farther with a single visit to the paint pan on a more expensive brush. Whereas when you're using the cheap brush, it's very stiff and you don't get any volume of paint on it. We're going to use the cheap paint brush first and what you'll see how difficult it is to actually get into a corner because it doesn't have a lot of paint on it and the bristles are very stiff and you can see it, it leaves quite a drag. So we'll see how far we can get with three dips at the paint pot. You see there's quite a drag there. So this is going to be, this is the third one now. See how far we can get before we start to run out of paint. There we are, we're starting to run out of paint now, you can see. Try to tidy it up. We're going to go back over it a lot of times. Bristles are coming out, that's another problem with cheap paint brushes. That's as far as we're going to get. Now watch the comparison using the more expensive paint brush. Get some paint on it. First of all, what you'll notice is that the bristles go into the corner very easily because they flex. You can already see that it's, it's going a lot farther. This is still just the second visit to the paint pot. You can see you're getting a much more even coverage. It's going on a lot better. Let's see how far we can get now with the third coat, with the third dip. You can see it looks like it's going to be at least twice the distance, if not more. And because the bristles are flexing all the time, as you can see, you're getting a very nice, flat, even finish to the paintbrush. Now, we could actually carry on a little bit farther here, but we won't for the, the sake of comparison. You can see you've got maybe two, three, possibly even four times the distance with the more expensive paintbrush. That's why decorators use it. It saves a lot of time. The other thing that you'll notice is it's much more difficult to actually cut in because the bristles don't flex and it's quite hard to get it in and it's very hard to control the bristles because they go all over the place wherever they want to go. And it doesn't always actually get into the place where you want it to be.